Thank you. Thank you. Girl, and such a fan as well. You are so pretty. You too. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> you know what? This is going to be one of those chats where it's just two girls mm -hmm. catching up. Do you know what I mean? So just relax. Do you want a coffee, tea, anything? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? No. Are you comfortable? Yes, Is the temperature am. right? Yes. Should we turn off the AC or leave it on? It's fine. I love your smell. So welcome to the late morning show. Thank you. Uh, I mean, we're quite on time, which is really impressive. It's at 10.30. You guys were here, so your team are uh, uh, very much honest. And I, uh, I think you guys are off to a great start. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very great. I'm optimistic. Thinking of my future or everything looks bright, so I'm just happy. Girl, she's like, everything looks bright. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, let's talk about that. So we have to definitely start from the beginning of the journey, you know, Big Brother, Nigeria. Um, that platform, going into the house, what was it? I mean, why did you decide to go for Big Brother? That's the thing. Do you know other years, my friends have been telling me, Erica, go for Big Brother. You know, you have drama. You're just wasting your <laughs> drama mm -hmm. And I've always been like, no, 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 Big Brother is not for me. I, I don't like to share my life with the public and everything. But this year, it was COVID. I wasn't working. Mm -hmm. I was getting broke. And I was like, ah, what am I doing at home? Let me just do this thing. And on the plus side, there was no like physical audition. Oh, wow. I just my phone. Yeah, it was on online. Yeah, it was online too. So when you when you got the message that you had been shot, you said, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Were you nervous? Were you excited? Were you like, am I really? Because I'll tell you, I I love reality TV shows, and sometimes you know, like your friends are like, yeah, I think you're like, you know, star girl, you should go for it, but. I, I'm really shy. I just don't think I could be on a reality TV show. Uh, so did you have your nerves kicking or was it one of those things that you thought, wow, this is a sign? Yeah, I was just curious because I didn't know what to expect. And it started as a joke for me. So when they said I was shot, I was like, okay, okay, let me, let me do this. I was excited because I've been acting for five years now and I'm not yet blue. So I'm like, okay, this is perfect opportunity for me to blue. I just do it. And I was happy. I was just happy. So apparently that you've done a little bit of acting. Oh yes, yes, yes. And now the Nollywood industry is literally ready for ah, this yes, style girl. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about your time in the house. Um, you know, you lit up our screens. One thing everyone could notice the moment you came on the screen is you you love to dance. Um, you know, that's the first time I saw you. I think it was one of the Saturday night parties oh. that you guys usually have. And you just, I said, who is this girl? She's just dancing. <laughs> and I think your fan base sort of, I mean, got into this or what is the what do you guys call yourself? Elite. Elite. <laughs> and got into this journey. Like what was being in the house like? Making friends and um, just basically finding yourself and finding Erica. It was exciting. Like for me, it was just something that I would never like it's a once in a lifetime experience. It's it was exciting meeting different people, not having a to you guys been to the house, did you guys even did you know anyone that was gonna be there? Uh I only really knew one person, but it's not like I knew she was going to be in the house. So when I saw her, I was very excited about her. Yeah. Okay. So yes. waking up in the day, like your daily routine, in in, in the, because I've always wondered having all those cameras uh, around you. Are you always in character? Was there moments where you guys just absolutely forget that there are cameras? There? Yeah, we have to forget because cameras are small. The rooms, are, like, they're very small. So it's, sometimes you just forget. At first, I was conscious. I was yeah, but later I started just freeing myself. That was it. Like, it's not possible to be conscious all the time of the camera as well. So there was no strategy to go into no, the big brother house? No, 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 no. For me, I just wanted to be myself. I went there to have fun, and I think I had enough fun. Yeah, really nice <laughs> yes. It's such a huge platform. Um, this is one of the questions that's always, always been on my mind to ask you know, anyone who's coming to such a, uh, a reality TV show. You have no idea what's going on outside. And you know, we'll get to how you got outside. But before we get to that, when you came out, did you even imagine or had you even thought about the fact that, you know, was there a part of you that kept thinking, do I have followers? Do I have none? Do people like me? Do you wake up in the morning thinking, am I trying? Am I not? Like, talk to us about the process, girl. <laughs> Sometimes, okay, at, at first, in the beginning, I was nervous. I hope I behave well. I was always conscious. The first week, that first week, I was so conscious. But later, I just saved myself and everything. At some point, called for like that bottom floor. I was like, okay, this is okay. a thing. <laughs> so that's what I've always wanted to be like. Take off for eviction and you're saved, or you're not even. You know, you, you, it kind of lets you know people like you. Yeah, because oh, I, was, wow. I was never called for 
any of those bottom four um, evictions. I'm like, okay, I'm doing something right. Oh, wow. I was like, okay, since being myself is working. Nobody likes to walk to Not me. I must say this. I, I yes. like how expressive you are, and you know, people watching you on TV and seeing you live in person. I think about other things, but also interesting, and because you can talk, really? like girl, you've been talking nonstop. <laughs> it's like you're walking in the room, which is good. You know, you're very warm. Yeah. Uh, so that's about friendships, you know, because going into the house with people that you did not know, yeah. you haven't known from birth, you just yeah. met, and sometimes friendships take a while to grow, mm -hmm. but then having to have other housemates that you had to peacefully live with in this space yeah. can be mentally daunting. You know, no matter how you, know, you might be very expressive and very... Of course. Okay, when I woke up <laughs> the next Because we've all had wild nights where we go out, <laughs> oh we drink on God. tables and we wild out and we don't even remember half of what happened exactly. the night before. So but you <laughs> threw up a storm. So <laughs> when you woke up the next day, what was it like? What did you think, guys? Did I really? I just woke up feeling sad mm -hmm. and I spoke to kids. He tried to calm me down. I prayed a bit. But I did not know how bad it was until I watched the video. So that was So that was when you came out of the house? No, did you watch it while you were in While I was like, when um, this when I was streaming the video just before he disqualified me. Mm -hmm. I don't think that, you know, what happened to me, I felt like we could have tampered mercy, you know, judgment with mercy. Did you feel like they could have given you another chance? Or were you like, you know what, it's fine? At first, I was like, I don't even remember this. Shining a bastard. Oh, oh you're right, you can't say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but yeah. it's alcohol. I but know, anyways, that's what I just, I just kept thinking, oh, alcohol. Why, why, why? But I just have to accept it. I like that. I want to accept that. One yes. of my favorite quotes in life is, Regret is so exhausting. Yes. And there's no need going back to how it could have happened, what should have been said, what shouldn't have been said. But I mean, looking back now, if you could do that again, um, what would you do differently? Would I do differently? I honestly. Girl, I can tell you, walk away to your bed and sleep. How about that? <laughs> if someone's annoying, you just be like, fix it, Jesus. What I fix would do differently Jesus. is not take alcohol. <laughs> No, the alcohol company, they owe you. Don't say that. Because you can be the face of that brand. I'll be like, well, you guys, manager, what are you guys well, doing? You think we need to write to that brand and be me. like, you cost me this show. So, you guys, I'm going to be call the face me, of this brand for the next me. one year. Um, you know, and I, I like how you're taking it. It's fantastic yes. that we can laugh about it. Because, you know, the funniest thing about that? Everyone would say, I'll do this differently, I'll do that differently, till it's your turn. Exactly. And I realize that people are the greatest advocates when it's their issue and the biggest judges when it's other people's exactly. issues. So it's nice for me to point fingers and sit here and be like, why would she do that? Exactly. Well, in the comfort of your home, you are the kind of person that throws sponges for you. Exactly. You know what I mean? But that's not to say that, girl. You know what I mean? I have to check you a little bit. Oh my God. Um, you know, so did you have to see someone when you came out? Did you? Because people kind of felt like, Maybe she has some unresolved issues, but who doesn't? Yes. Maybe she has anger management problems. Do you have to like see someone? Anger management problems. No, 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 no. <laughs> but I've been getting up just because I have, I have. I need to work on myself. I need to be the best version of myself. So that's the reason why I'm getting help. That's it. <laughs> you know, like you this no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying what's in my head, really. Yeah. Like, <laughs> self development yes. never ends. Everyone, yes. everyone definitely has to work. Even when you think there's nothing left to be done, yes. you, this is a whole new world. You have this platform with so many people who look up. Yes. You know, across Africa, yes. um, how does that make you feel? Wow, it just makes me feel overwhelmed. At first, when I came out, I was scared. I thought. I messed up so much and no one was going to support me and support mm -hmm. everyone. I was scared. And then when I came out, I saw so many people love me. So many people, people created songs for me. People sent me messages. People kept calling. Sending guys, I'm just so oh. grateful. I, I feel, feel yes, yeah. exactly. The end, I love you. You guys have never met me before, but you just took me as your own. So yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but I will make you proud. That's all I can say to you. Everything I do is so that you guys will be proud of me. You'll be proud to stand for me. Like, oh, don't worry, I promise. You. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. It's nice that um, you know you you took our time to really really thank those who supported you because 
not even because the, you were disqualified or anything. You know, because for me, I, I don't see it as a disqualification. I see it as you know, it's a game. It's part of the game. You win some, you lose some. Yes. And you came out with such an attitude of grace and humility. Um, you know, the sky is literally your starting point, and you can't let anyone make you feel bad about it. Yes. I mean, on the side of the people who love you, there are those who are also really upset with you. There's some people who felt like. You know, we loved her so much and she let us down. Yeah. But those people, like, how, you know, what would you say to them? I am human. Everybody makes mistakes. The only thing I can do is just get better. I have apologized in the past. I, I am just working. I'm moving past it. I'm working towards making myself a better person. So just look at the positive side. Yeah. <laughs> so the show ended yesterday, yes. Laurel. Yes. <laughs> Any of your faves in the top five? Oh, yeah, I feel like everybody who's in the top five. They deserve to be in the top five because it's not easy to be like I wanted to be in the top five. So everybody that has gotten the top five, they deserve it. All right, yes. <laughs> they deserve it. It's eleven o'clock. We do have to go on a music break. What's your favorite song? Um, Spell. Wonderful and fun work. Okay, I'm going to play that for you. When yes. we come back, Erica is in the building. We're chit-chatting about everything. Big Brother, going forward, what she expects, what she wants to do. The love for her fans. You guys yeah. do not want to miss a beat. But they could be right back. Yes. What do you want?